Dr. Jenks. Play math. Hello, my play math friends. It's Dr. Jen. Welcome back to my channel. Today's story is about the adventures of a monkey who lives on a tiny island that only has lemons to eat. Are you curious about what happens? Don't forget to watch all the way through because when I finish the book, a fun after reading activity will follow. Are you ready for a story? Counting Crocodiles by Judy Sierra, illustrated by Will Hillenbrand. On an island in the middle of the Silver Bubble Sea, lived a clever little monkey in a sour lemon tree. She ate lemons, boiled and fried, steamed, sautéed, pureed, and dried. She ate lemons till she cried. I'm all puckered up inside. Then across that sea so wide, a banana tree she spied. How delectable! She sighed. I would love to take a trip across the Silla Bubble Sea and carry back a stack of sweet bananas from that tree. The syllabobble crocodiles thought they were truly cool, and they looked upon those waters as their private swimming pool. They appeared to be quite vicious, feasting fearlessly on fishes. But the monkey was suspicious, and the bananas looked delicious. So she climbed atop her tree and cried. I wonder, are there more crocodiles in the sea, or monkeys on the shore? One crusty croc who chanced to hear her snored it. It cannot be clearer. They're lurking just below the waves at crocodile galore. Why head to tail with reach across the sea? The reptile roared. With those words, he disappeared into the dark and salty sea, and brought back his entire crocodilian family. Just look at us! I have a hunch you've never seen a bigger bunch. Later be our guest for lunch. We're all lined up and waiting, monkey. Will you count us, please? She counted one crocodile with a great big smile. Two crocs resting on rocks. Three crocs rocking in a box. Four crocs building with blocks. Five crocs tickling a fox. Six crocs with pink mohawks. Seven crocs juggling clocks. Eight crocs in polka dot socks. Nine crocs with chicken pox. And ten crocs dressed like Goldilocks. The crocodiles were dancing and cavorting in the slime. Impatiently, they ask, "How many of us did you find?" With her mouth full of bananas, the monkey scolded, "Mind your manners. Line them now, crocodiles." I need to count you one more time. She counted 
10 crocs dressed like Goldilocks, 9 crocs with chicken pox, 8 crocs in polka dot socks, 7 crocs juggling clocks, 6 crocs with pink mohawks, 5 crocs tickling a fox, 4 crocs building with blocks, 3 crocs rocking in a box, 2 crocs resting on rocks, 1 crocodile with a great big smile. As the monkey jumped ashore and scurried up her lemon tree, the crocodiles below cried out, How many then are we? Tell us now! The crocs all howled. Just enough. The monkey scowled. Just enough to make a bridge across the syllabable sea, but not enough to catch a clever monkey like me. The end. Now it's time for a fun activity. To do this activity, you'll need a lemon and a banana foot props, one monkey figure, ten crocodile figures, and number cards. First, place a lemon on one end and a banana on the other end. Pick one number card and line up the same number of crocodiles between a lemon and a banana. Have a monkey cross over all the crocodiles with counting them as the monkey gets to the other side with a banana. Once kids get used to the activity, they can make the monkey turn around and come back with counting backward, like in the story. This activity helps kids to practice counting from 1 to 10, as well as to understand the numerical sequence. Thank you for watching Climax. To read more math picture books and do after reading activities, please subscribe to this channel. See you next time!